Okay, this is Dash o Rose here, back to review some more Family Guy. This time, I'm going to be talking about a good episode from Season 7. Yeah, the last one, I believe, would may have been the first official. I don't know, like, there was a bad episode I reviewed in, in Season 3, better mind. But yeah, they're, they're, we're starting to get into the bad territory of Family Guy. We're still in season 7, it's still somewhat good, but the next season, oh my god, there are a lot of bad episodes. Heck, I don't even know which ones to pick. I may have to end up doing two of them, I don't know. I'm gonna try to think about it by next week. Yeah, next week is Christmas time, hooray! Anywho, let's, let's, re let's do this episode. It's called Foxy Lady. Yep, it's, it's an episode about making fun of Fox News. Um, yeah, ba back then, Fox News was a part of Fox. Well, it still is, but, you know, Disney owns 60% of Fox now. They don't own Fox News. They were unable to buy, to buy, you know, Fox News because they already own, you know, ABC News. So, it, it's still, so Fox is still Fox News, so... Yeah, but back then it, they were making fun of they were making fun of you know Fox News. They they, they were making fun of themselves pretty much because it was underneath under the same umbrella as Fox News and Fox. However, I'm here to talk about Fo Fox Foxy Lady, which is season ten episodes. Well, season well I mean season seven episode ten. Sorry. Um, anywho, let's, let's review this. Um, basically, um, basically, you know, they get, they get this, they get this, you know, like, H, H D, well, they, they, they find, um, this Fox, well, this woman on Fox News very sexy. By they, I mean Peter and his friends. So Peter wants to get a an HD TV, a flat screen, because uh, you know right now they still have the box TV, but a few seasons down the road they'll switch to um, the the flat screen TV. Um, I'm I've always preferred box TVs over the flat screens, even though I have a bunch of I have all flat screens in my t in my house. I I prefer you know box TVs, honestly, in my opinion. It's just they're hard to come around now. If you go to Best Buy, you're gonna be you're gonna be finding you know flat screens and stuff. Um. I anywho, I'm I'm here to to um to re to talk about you know this. Um, I'm here to talk about um my thoughts on this. Well, again, you know it's it's basically you know um making fun of Fox by making fun of Fox News, you know. Brian's basically talking about how um, they they make up shit all the time and all of that, but but Lois, you know, because that one woman got fired because the HD TV ma made her look hideous and old, reminds me a lot of Touch My Katamari. Honestly, I don't know why, but but just the Kings. If you guys played Katamari, you probably haven't heard of it. It's a game where you roll around. They made, like, several of them in the franchise. Eventually, they made one on the PSV Vita, and, it, and it's called Touch My Katamari, and the king looks terrible in HD. They really messed up his looks. That's kind of where I get the vibe from watching this episode. Um, anywho, yeah, Lois ends up taking the job, and... And meanwhile, Peter Peter decides to make his own cartoon, and um, the B plot is kind of kind of sad, honestly. The A plot is is really good. Um, I like I like how you know Lois is you know on Fox News and all that. It, it's not a, a hilarious episode, but it's still really good. I still like it. I like you know seeing Lois on the news and. And we, I, I don't actually, I don't even think Channel 5 News appears in this episode, I think. 
Channel 5 News is where, you know, Diane Simmons and Tom Tucker are on there. I don't think it appears in this episode. At least I don't remember. But yes, um, basically that, that plot's fine because, you know, Lois is, lo like, basically Lois, you know, is not really unlikable in this episode. And I love how they go to Rush Limbaugh's house. May he rest in peace. Yeah, he passed away a few months ago. But I, I, I like that, that how they make how they change the story by making him like not Fox News but Family Guy makes Rush Limbaugh fake by making someone dress up as him. It's pretty funny, it really is. Um, but but I'm gonna talk about the B plot now. Um, I like the idea Handy Quacks. It's it's kind of an interesting concept. It is. That's what you're seeing on the screen right now is Handy Quacks. Heck, even the title on, on this video says Handy Quacks. But my problem is with this is Peter and Chris are treating Meg like shit. Like absolute shit. And I know this this show has, has you know... Family Guy making fun of Meg and treating her like shit all the time, but it, it goes far too long in this episode. It goes far too long. They cut back to Peter and his show with Meg and Chris like three different times. Three fucking different times they cut back and Meg's just trying to you know, be nice and give ideas, but while her asshole father is fucking rejecting her ideas. and I feel bad for Meg, I really do. I kind of wish Meg could have just rubbed it in Peter's face when his show failed. Yeah, his show failed because of, you know, Peter being an idiot, you know. I'm not going to go in too, too deep, but yeah, he's kind of being an idiot, honestly. And, you know, basically he, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go into it a little bit. Um, see, basically Peter um, has the opportunity to do his show the way he wants to. After the guy for well, well, the guy first said he wants to change one thing, but then he decides to you know keep it that way. But then Peter's like, no, and it cuts to you know Peter not getting his show because Peter's an idiot, you know. But I wish Meg could have been you know like, ha ha, deserves your ass right or something, you know, just to get some payback on them for treating her like shit. But I don't know. I know this is a running joke in Family Guy. It's one of my thing, the things I hate about Family Guy in general, honestly. But uh, I, I still think that this is a good episode. Um, yeah, it's a good episode. Again, I don't, I don't f find a lot of things funny about it, but I think them making fun of Fox News, even though Fox News is no longer part of Fox... It's part of, you know, well it's, well, it's still part of Fox, but Disney doesn't own it, and Disney owns Family Guy. So, Family Guy is no longer un under the umbrella of with Fox News involved in it. So, yeah. Anywho, I think it's about time I give this a score. Well, if it weren't for the the B plot and Meg, and Meg got, her, got revenge on, you know, Peter or rubbed it in his face, his success in his face from failing... Then this probably would get 120 points. But I have to give this 100 points. That's right, 100 points. It's it's still a, a decent episode, don't get me wrong. It's still, it's, I just don't like how they, like how Peter's treating Meg like shit and they focus on it for like three fucking minutes in the episode. But it's better than those fucking goddamn Conway Twitty cutaway gags. Yeah, fuck those. Um, anywho, it's about time I probably let this go, though. Um, please um, subscribe for um, more um, videos. And hit that notification bell, that way you guys can be notified. And I will see you guys later. This Stasha Rose out.